All right, let's review the example questions for properties of equality and congruence. Starting with example A, solve 2 times the quantity 3x minus 4 plus 11 equals x minus 27 and write out the property for each step. This is also called uh, justify each step. Justify, wow, that color is going to be awful. Let's get a better one. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, distribute. So we have our 2x or 2 times 3x minus 4, which is going to be the same as 2 times 3x minus 2 times 4. So this becomes 2 times 3x minus 2 times 4 plus 11 equals x minus 27. And that's the distributive property. And then our next step would be to uh, combine like terms. So we have 2 times 3x, that's 6x, minus 8 plus 11. So negative 8 and positive 11 give us positive 3 equals x minus 27. So that's just combining. And then our next step would be to get rid of the 3 on this hand side, the left hand side because we have more variables over here so we'll collect our variables on that side so we'll subtract 3 from each side giving us 6x equals x minus 30 and that would be the subtraction property of equality really when you're writing out the rules you can just think of what you did and if it's an operation it's just that operation property of equality. If we were to multiply both sides by the same number, that would be a multiplication property of equality. Add the same number to both sides, that's the addition property of equality, and so forth. Uh, and then we'll subtract x from both sides. Subtract x from over here, we get 6x minus 1x, that's 5x equals negative 30, and that was the subtraction property of equality again. Ditto. And then we divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals negative 6. And divide both sides by 5 is, of course, the division property of equality. And that's it. So the same set of rules you would have done in Algebra 1, just write down what property tells you it's okay to do that for each step. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says AB equals 8, and BC equals 17, and AC equals 20. Are points A, B, and C collinear? Okay, so the, the trick here is to remember the rule that says that if you have a line and on that line you have three points, that we'll call these A, B, and C here, that A, B, so this segment here, segment A, B, plus segment BC is equal to segment AC. So if these two things, if AB plus BC are equal, then AC is a single line and ABC are all collinear. So we just need to see if AB, which is 8, plus BC, which is 17, equals AC, which is 20. So we'll say our first information here tells us this is what we're looking for, and now we can use our um, uh, segment addition postulate, which is what this information up here we just went over was. The segment addition postulate is what we need to do to, to prove to, to say that these two things are actually collinear. So the segment addition... That's the name for this set of this rule that we just described up here, the segment addition postulate. So now we can just go through and substitute the values that were given for each of these things. So 8 plus 17 should be 20. So this is our substitution property of equality. And since 8 plus 17 is 25, 
and 25 is definitely not equal to 20, then these two things are definitely not equal and therefore not collinear. Okay, and now example C. I copied the whole information for example C because there was a lot of writing there and I didn't want to take up all our time writing. But basically it says if the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B together are 100 degrees and the measure of angle B is 40 degrees, prove that A is an acute angle. Remember, acute angle is anything less than 90, right? So really, we're, we're given this information, A plus B is 100, and B is 40. So those are both given. We can just substitute, then, the fact that A plus 40 is 100, since A plus B is 100, and B is 40. So now we can use our substitution to say that A plus 40 is 100. And now we can use subtraction, subtract 40 from both sides, right here using our subtraction property of equality and that tells us that A is 60 degrees and since an acute angle is anything less than 90 A has to be an acute angle if it's 60 degrees and that's all there is to it